Crank that, nay. Crank that, nay. Nay, crank that, nay. Hey. What's going on you guys? It's your girl Dale. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. video we are going to be talking about natural hair trends that i'll be taking into 2022 so before we hop into this video make sure you subscribe to my channel don't forget to hit that post bell notification to get notified every single time your girl uploads a video which is every wednesday and saturday follow me on my main social media account at hair zay it's always on the screen and link is always in that description box and without further ado let's hop right into it so first thing that i'm gonna be talking about today is more diy treatments but for real the first thing that i'm definitely gonna take into 2022 is more diy treatments and i can say that is something that i kind of used to do when i first started my natural hair journey like I used to do protein treatments with egg and mayo and olive oil and then I was doing like rice water treatments and I think what else was I doing I know I was putting aloe vera in my hair um, but I did used to do a lot of DIY treatments when I first started my natural hair journey and honestly as time went on like it just faded away I stopped doing it I don't know why I stopped doing it I'm really like a lazy natural you can call me a lazy naturalista because if my hair doesn't need to be touched, I won't touch it. I'll put it in a puff. It'll be in a puff for a week straight. Or if it's in twist, it'll be in twist for a week and a half. Literally, y'all, I'm so lazy when it comes to my natural hair. So I really want to do more protein treatments and more hot oil treatments because when I used to do those, like, every once in a while, maybe, like, every month, my hair really benefited from it. Like, it felt so moisturized. It felt hydrated. It felt so soft. Especially when it comes to hot oil treatments, like, they do the damn thing. I used to do hot oil treatments with Cal's daughter, um, their goddess strength oil. I used to mix it with castor oil and coconut oil and olive oil. Like, I used to do a lot of stuff. When I first got into this natural hair journey, and it's something that I definitely want to do more in 2022. And I think it really needs something DIY. Like, especially when I did the Cardi B hair mask, even though it's technically not the Cardi B hair mask, because when I posted it on my Instagram, everyone was like, it's not a Cardi B hair mask. Like, you know, this is something that Spanish people do, or this is something that has been going on even before Cardi B. She didn't make this, blah, 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 blah. Whatever it was, I tried it and that hair mask was bomb. I've never been into putting i think was there banana in there banana i don't even remember i know there was avocado in there but i wasn't a fan about putting food in my hair even though like mayonnaise and egg is technically food but when it comes to like avocado and banana i always was scared to do those type of things but they do have a lot of great benefits to them so i think that in 2022 i want to do more of that and probably have a consistent routine when it comes to those type of treatments because those type of treatments are technically like protein treatments not even technically they are protein treatments um and just like rice water something that i used to do when i started you know becoming fully natural rice water was something that i'm not too sure where it originated from but i know a lot of i think chinese people do it um and that's how they get their like asian people chinese people that's how they get their hair really long so i wanted to give it a try when i first started my natural hair journey and i was never really consistent with it so i can't even say like yeah i tried it and made my hair grow because i never had a consistent routine or i never did it you know every month or every couple of weeks so i can't really speak too much about it but i can say that that is a protein treatment and when it comes to protein treatments if you do it too often it will make your hair dry and brittle and that's another thing that i can say i experienced when i tried you know putting rice water in my hair it does have a lot of great benefits i'm not downplaying it but it's just not something that really worked with my hair as i thought it would is it something that i would do again mm really not too sure definitely a, a lot of diy treatments and more hot oil treatments in 2022 now the second thing that i'm definitely going to be taking into 2022 is wearing my hair out at least once or twice a month now if you guys saw my last video you know i mentioned that when i first started my natural hair journey i really 
to not wear my hair out a lot and it's also something that i don't do now but definitely at least once or twice a month i want to at least do a braid out or a twist out or even wear my hair in the afro i'm really not into wearing my hair in the afro because i don't like my hair short but i definitely do want to wear my hair out at least once or twice a month because i think it needs to be shown like people need to see i have some nice beautiful hair and i just need to show my appreciation of it instead of putting it in a puff or putting it in twist i think sometimes my hair just needs to breathe and i want to put it out more with whatever style i choose to do definitely once or twice a month i'm gonna try to put my hair out even if i'm just home and my hair is out or i go out somewhere then i definitely want my hair to be out regardless at least once or twice a month i want to try to show some appreciation to my hair instead of putting it in a puff because technically if it's in a puff it's technically out but it's not fully out because you're still manipulating your hair when you put your hair in a puff and i love puffs i really do it's my go-to if my hair is acting up my hair will go in a puff best believe my hair will go in a puff so definitely once or twice a month i want to like do a braid out or a twist out i have yet to accomplish a twist out when my hair is not fully stretched and that's something that i want to try to do this year i know when it comes to braid outs my braid outs typically come out nice um but i actually want to try a braid and curl that's something that has been trending on like my Instagram is something that I'm interested in doing. And I think my hair will definitely benefit from it, especially if I'm not doing any sort of manipulation to it and I'm just letting it breathe. But I never put my hair out in the winter time. Like that is very, very rare. In the winter time, my hair is rarely out because that's when my hair breaks the most. So I try to keep my ends away and not really do too much to it. Um, but in the summertime, my hair will be out. Best believe my hair will be out. Now, the third thing on my list that I'll be taking into 2022 is definitely trying new hairstyles. I get so lazy or so frustrated when I try to do a hairstyle and it doesn't come out the way I want it to come out. Like, when I try to do a hairstyle and it doesn't come out the way I want it to, I just give up. I really do. And I'm so lazy, like I'm such a lazy natural. I'll put my hair in a puff, I'll put my hair in two twists, I'll put my hair in some braids. Even now, like, I don't even think I could do many braids like how I used to before, like mini twists. I think I did mini twists. Was it mini twists or mini braids the other day? Not the other day, probably like two weeks ago. I'm not really too sure, but like now, I don't even have the patience. I don't have the arm strength to be doing that. So I definitely wanna try new hairstyles and just have some patience because there are a lot of cute hairstyles that I want to do that I see on like Pinterest and stuff like that with natural hair. And I'm like, oh my God, I feel like that would look so cute on me, but do I have the patience to do it? No, but I should get some patience to do it. Especially there's this new trending hairstyle where people are like braiding their hair and they're putting like the brown beads at the end. And I think those are so freaking cute and I want to give it a try, but I'm also scared because I already look like a kid. So if I put beads in my head, then I'll probably look like a kid even more. But I think Especially when it comes to trying new hairstyles, I want to either give those hairstyles a try like in the summertime because in the summertime, you know, the weather is nice. People in the summertime, a lot of people branch out and they try different hairstyles. So it's definitely something that I do want to incorporate in 2022. And also another hairstyle that I do want to do um, is a bob. I've always wanted to try a bob for like the longest since I turned. I don't even know. I'm not even going to say since I turned. Like, I've wanted to try a bob for the longest. And no, I'm not cutting my hair in a bob, but I would definitely get like a lace front or wig um, because I think it's gonna look so cute on my head, yet I'm scared to get a bob. I don't even know why I'm scared, but when it comes time to putting color in my hair or trying a new hairstyle, I'm always scared that my head is too big and it's not gonna look right. But I definitely wanna try new hairstyles in 2022. Now, another thing that I am gonna be taking into 2022, especially when it comes to my natural hair, is trying new natural hair companies. And I'm gonna explain, cause this might sound like, but Daya, you have a lot of natural hair company products. No, what I mean by that is I wanna try natural hair companies that literally sell products that have all natural ingredients. When it comes to all these other companies like Cow's Daughter, Camille Rose, Miel, you know, TGIN, yes, these products are for natural hair, but the ingredients aren't fully natural. Like, 
they're not if you really read the ingredients on the back of your products you will see that yeah they might point to like oh this has aloe vera or this has macadamia oil or this has you know blah 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 but are all your ingredients natural they're not and nothing's wrong with that because they work well for my hair but i want to shine light on companies that literally sell products that have all natural hair ingredients there's a brand that i use it's called beauty nest i've actually done a video on one of her products and literally all her ingredients are natural literally and i love them and they work so well with my hair and i think the conditioner the deep conditioner that i used from her company was the best conditioner that i've used out of all my years of being natural like it worked so well with my hair i can't even complain i can't even you know say anything bad about it because i would definitely buy it again and again and again and again so i definitely want to shine light on companies like that and companies that are like small black owned businesses that sell really really good products because you know everybody deserves to have some light shined on them like these other big company brands um i think a lot of people do support small black owned businesses but i feel like they don't at the same time sometimes people would stick to what they know but i want to branch out and try natural hair companies that are literally all natural because i think all natural products are the best like all natural you can't go wrong with that you really cannot go wrong with all natural products so um now another thing that i definitely want to bring into 2022 another natural hair trend is being consistent with my wash days and with that i'm not saying like oh i wash my hair every two weeks but with that i want to specifically touch on like deep conditioning because i think deep conditioning is so essential and it's one of the most important steps especially when it comes to wash days i want to take an extra step with that i want to be able to use like a steam cap or steam my hair because i heard again that has so many benefits and i see a lot of people doing it so i want to give it a try so when it comes to having a consistent routine with specifically deep conditioning i want to incorporate like a steam cap because i think the first time that i used the steam cap my hair was so soft i was really so surprised it was my first time using a steam cap i've never used one before and the way that it made my hair feel is something that i want to continue to do i'm just lazy so i would just deep condition my hair and put a shower cap on and just you know do things around my house but when it comes to having a wash day um, and when it comes time to washing my hair i want to be consistent and really focus on it i recommend anybody to steam their hair or get a steam cap i also want to steam my hair i have a steamer for my face but i want to steam my hair because it opens the pores and I think it opens my cuticles and it would help, you know, get all that good stuff into my scalp. So it is definitely something else that I want to incorporate in 2022. The last trend that I definitely want to take into 2022 is taking more pictures with my hair. I feel like I only take pictures when I have to. And it's not a bad thing because not all the time I feel like my pictures are Instagram worthy. But I want to take more pictures with my hair, especially if it's out or if it's in a bun. I want to see what my hair is looking like every year so I can do like a comparison. Like, oh my god, this is what I did in 2022 or this is what my hair looked like in 2022. So then when 2023 comes in April, I'm like, oh my god, this is what my hair looked like or this is how long my hair was in 2022 and look at it now in 2023 it has definitely grown i want to be able to do comparisons as the year goes on and see like what i did wrong what i did right what i should continue doing what i should stop doing so definitely i want to take more pictures in 2022 and just in general because i feel like more pictures the better who doesn't want to take pictures that's always something that has been on my list um just in general like not even just with hair specifically i think I just want to take more pictures and dress up and get cute um that's really basically it those are the trends that i want to take into 2022 and i would say i don't even know which one of these i really want to take into 2022 um i would say mm, trying new hairstyles because i see so many people doing these cute hairstyles and i'm like oh my god like this came out so nice i want to do it i think this one time i tried to do a hairstyle and my parting came out so crappy and i was just like yeah i'm not doing this i gave up i literally gave up i was like yeah this is so much work i don't know how she did it but i'm not doing it that's the end of this video i hope you guys really enjoyed don't forget to follow me on my social media account at hairstaya and the link is always in that description box. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you love it here. Join the Zaya fam. We are growing and flourishing. And without further ado, I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Bye!